Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, Patrick Olson for Cars.com. We're at the New York Auto Show with the new Mazda 2. Now, we did a short video in Los Angeles, but we only had a few details. Today, we've got more details, the most important of which is you'll be able to buy this starting in July. Now, if you're thinking about buying the Mazda 2, it's going to start in its base trim called the Sport at just under 14 grand. Now, if you move into the Touring, which is the trim I'm in now, it moves you up about another $800, especially if you get the automatic, which adds almost $1,000 on its own. Now, let's take a look at the interior of the car. I like the layout of this car, and it's a lot like the Ford Fiesta, which is based on the same platform. But the controls, I think, are simpler, easier to use. I like the big knobs for the climate control, and it's easy to adjust the stereo and, and use a CD player. Uh, the steering wheel and the Touring is uh, leather-wrapped, very nice, and it's got lots of uh, steering wheel controls. For just about 15 and a half, that's pretty impressive. As it's clear, the Mazda 2 is a small car. While there's plenty of room in the front seat for two adults, for me to get into the back seat, it's pretty tight, and I'm not going to attempt that. Now, in the trunk space, there's about 13.3 cubic feet of space in the back with the seats up. That's the same as the Suzuki Kizashi. Now, if you put the second row seats down, it more than doubles that. Even though it's inexpensive, the Mazda 2 doesn't make you give up everything. It comes standard with ABS and traction control. Now, in terms of mileage, it gets 28 in the city, but it gets 34 on the highway if you get the automatic, 35 with the manual. Now, that compares pretty well with the Toyota Yaris, but not as well as its uh, sort of corporate twin, the Ford Fiesta, which is rumored to get about 40 miles per gallon on the highway. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.